Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to What Shall We Do Next and today is supposed to be Tattoo Tuesday, but I've been really busy today. I literally was just sitting here right now thinking, what can I do for a video? Like I have nothing to do. Not even just about tattoo, but anything in general. And I was like looking around at my props thinking, I wonder if I could like make it like a review or something just, or like, I don't know, something, but I couldn't come up with anything. However, I do have one thing that I've never actually talked about. Um, or made a video about at least and it is a very prominent addition to my tattoo series and that is this thing right here I've never actually like showed you I've never done like a review or anything on it not that I can remember but it is a cardboard cutout and I don't remember I want to shout out the company that I got it from because it's like it's extremely well done and it's very professional and high resolution it's also a pretty decent size i wanted to get like the six foot like uh life size one which would have been epic it would have been epic to have like life size lena and julia in my house but then it was it said on the website that i was like doing it on that they can only do like the the life size ones as a single person like if it's a single person they can do it but if they if it's like together like this one then they can't you have to have like the small one which is about i don't really know two and a half feet it's i don't know i mean you can see it maybe even three feet i don't know if it's any bigger than that or smaller but i can't remember the exact measurements but it's I, i've never actually like showed you guys before um it doesn't really have anything special about it it's just this thing holding the back um to keep it like holding it upright and you fold this little flappy flap down this goes to a side like this. So you push that circle thing up and then this goes like that um, and it folds away. So that's it. And then when you want to get it out, you just open this thing. So it's like that. And then there's the circle thing that you pull here and it just like fits into place right there like that. And it holds it in place. So then that thing doesn't move. So you can literally set it up anywhere and it will stand up and it's not going to fall over. Uh, but I think it's pretty cool, and I got this a while ago. Uh, they didn't, like, it wasn't made like this already. I bought it, like, I sent in the picture to, for them to do it. But I had to first find a picture that I thought was, like, iconic or cool, and it wasn't, like, their heads cut off or anything like that. And this was one of the few ones that I could find, uh, which just kind of, like, represented how I imagine tattoo, like, how I've always known them. To look i wanted something like that something that would like give me nostalgic feelings that i could put in the background of my videos originally i thought it was going to be smaller than this when i got it and i was planning on putting it on the shelf like that like here but then i realized it was cutting off their heads so i had to like start screwing about with it and hanging it on here like this i can't do it right now it's like hard to do but yeah, I've never actually showed you guys, but this is like a full close-up version. I'll do it even closer up with the zoom so you guys can get a good look. But you can see how like high resolution it is. Considering this picture was taken back in like 2000 and I don't know, 2002, 2003. Um, it's, it's still got like really good resolution. Of course, like it's been enhanced and stuff over the years, but it's very vibrant too. You can tell by Lena's hair, it's very red and vibrant. And uh, they both have like, wow, it's, it's still really cool. Wow, it actually looks cooler on camera, at least from what, like what I'm seeing the viewfinder, it looks like more vibrant on camera, but I do have the settings set to like a little bit more vibrance and stuff. So maybe that's why. Um, and then you got them like holding on to each other. It literally looks realistic as hell. Like it's 3D. The printing ink quality is like amazing. It's very, very good quality. And I like how they like cut around like even the smallest of parts that would be super awkward to get into. Um, and it comes down here and you can see like there's little ridges here and there and they've cut around that perfectly. There isn't one single mistake or they've cut too much off or like not enough or anything like that. Um, and you can see like right here too, it kind of like has that ridge and then it goes down and there's like a little piece there where it like dips in and 
Yeah. And then it's just like, it goes down and in between their legs, they didn't cut that piece out because that's where the, the stand is. So it needs to be connected here. So they, if they cut that out, it's going to interfere with the stand on the back and then it would fuck everything up. Um, so of course they had to keep this part, like the in between the legs part was supposed to be white. Also it connects to the bottom here so it can actually stand up. Um, but you can still see like how it goes like down Julia's shoe here and it kind of has that like the croc shape or doc martens whatever the, these type of shoes are called and it kind of goes over and out like that like woo a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a like a lift there where it comes over and i think it's the same on the side by lena's back of her shoe it comes down on yeah it does like a little bit of a bump here where it like sticks out a little bit um but i guess they need it would have been better if they cut this stuff out but and then I was like looking at it thinking, I wonder if I could do it. But then I, I worked it out and it is because of the stand on the back. You can't literally can't do that. You can't cut the, these parts out because it will, the stand will just come off and then it won't be able to stand up at all. I mean, I guess you could do that if you wanted to like use it as a poster because it doesn't weigh anything. It's only cardboard. Um, so I guess you could like stick some like mounting putty on the back of it and like, stick it to your wall or something like that i guess you could do it that way if you wanted to cut out the white parts but i just thought it's not worth it like i'm only i only got it for tattoo tuesday just to put in the background um so along with that other thing with the two girls on it that i made but yeah let me know what you guys think of this i think it's a pretty uh iconic background piece for when i do tattoo tuesday and yeah that's pretty much all i have to say about it this is my cardboard cutout of Lena and Julia from Tattoo. But anyway, guys, like I said, I've been really busy today, so I couldn't really do anything else. Like, uh, I was gonna do like a reaction video to one of Tattoo's music videos again, um, but I don't have time. I've literally just got back home from a Christmas party with my family, so. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. At least it's something, I guess. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember the most important thing, chase your dreams and keep on fighting. Peace out, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoy my videos and you would like to support me and my channel more and also be featured in my videos, go check out my Patreon. Link is in the description. I would really appreciate any help you guys have to offer. As you can see, we have different tiers, different rewards. So go over there, check it out. And uh, I would really appreciate that. Every little helps. Thank you so much. And also guys, don't forget to subscribe with the notification bell on and also follow me on all my social media. I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even Snapchat. So go follow Follow me on all of those and remember the most important thing, I love you guys and chase your dreams.